Welcome to another Deb and Pau vlogs. In this vlog, we go back to our trip with my parents to Tatacoa Desert in Colombia back in October of 2022. Our trip started from Medellin on the evening of 14th October by bus and our first stop was a restaurant around two and a half hours away from Medellin for dinner. The restaurant is called Perla Verde, which translates to Green Pearl. As you can see, this is a very busy spot for all cars and buses heading in and out of Medellin. The whole trip from Medellin to Tatacoa was about 14 hours by bus, depending on the traffic. From the restaurant, we are on our way towards Tatacoa. We whizzed past Bogota, the capital, and stopped close to a town called Neiva, for petrol and breakfast after a 12 hours overnight journey. Hola, here we are again. So we have Paula here, my mom and my dad. We have been on a bus for the last 10, 12 hours. We just stopped for breakfast. And Ma, say hi. And this is our first trip in Colombia with my parents. Say hi. breakfast we were on the move and the bus made a quick stop 15 minutes away for people to do some shopping so right now we made a small stop before we reach the desert to buy some snacks along the way uh, some gourmet local snacks right here so they sell things like this it's like nimki in india and then i have a friend Trying to make friends. Hey, 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 venga, ¿qué pasa? From there, we were headed to the town center of Villa Vieja, which was our first stop as a tourist spot. So finally, we are off the bus. This uh, small town is called Villa Vieja, and right now I'm in one of the train stations, which uh, used to bring uh, goods from Bogota. The station was under operation till 1985 and was constructed around 1938. It is now the historical and architectural heritage of the area. For us, this was a very short stop and right after we were on our way to the town center of Villa Vieja. Ya voy, ya voy. So at Villa Vieja, in this small town, we have a small tour. Apparently it hadn't rained in a long time, but today and yesterday it had been raining, so the roads are super muddy. And from here we're supposed to go to a desert called Tatacoa, but then probably not gonna go today if it keeps raining, because the roads get too muddy and the bus can get stuck. But anyways, fingers crossed. Where is mom? Marco. Everything is super muddy. So that's our guide, Don Carlos. Mom, say hi. Say hi. Is he angry? Angry mom. Angry pal. Happy dad. Daddy, say hi. Hey, daddy. Look, look, look. How many bags can a person carry? One, two, three. So right now we are headed to the main town center of Villa Vieja. It says, Yo amo Villa Vieja. I love Villa Vieja. So all towns, small towns in Colombia has this common feature. There is a church and a park at the center of the town. And this tree here is about a hundred years old. This is a very small town with about 8,000 8, people living here. So 
this was the first church here in Villa Vieja. And then they made the new one over there. And then there is a cemetery here as well and a, a historical museum with fossils. So right now we are walking to see the widest river in Colombia, is it? Yeah, the widest river, but not at this point. It's called River Magdalena. And this is our last stop. Then we're gonna go back to the park and have some coffee. So we are, after about a 10 minute walk, we are now next to the river. And they do a few trips on the river. Because it rained, the river is pretty fast and it's almost full. and Paula went for a boat trip. They saw turtles and snakes and iguanas. The weather is getting better, so we might be able to go to the desert today. So let's go. Vieja. It was a 15 minute drive to our hotel in Tataqua Desert called Noches de Saturno, which translates to Saturn Nights. We are now in one of the hotel areas. So there are a few cottages, it's like an enclosed area, it's a hotel with a few cottages and today's plan is to go to one of the deserts uh, which is a grey desert and then also to an astronomical observatory so we can see some stars hoping that the weather clears up, there's a bit of cloud. So there is a pool there. So the bus came through there. And now we are waiting for, the group is waiting there to get assigned rooms or cottages. So that's our cabin or cottage. It's a one bedroom cottage. And it started to rain a bit. Tataqua Desert is located in the central west part of Colombia, 300 kilometers from Bogota, and is the second largest arid zone in the country, covering 330 square kilometers. The area is famous for the red and grey sand formations due to its mineral-rich soil. Surprisingly, this Colombian desert is not actually a desert, but rather a dry tropical forest. In the area, we visited the Red Desert, Followed by the Grey Desert, located 8 kilometers east of the former, we also had plans to visit the Astronomical Observatory to see some stars and then a local tourist park called Selfie Park, but not in this exact order. People here told us that the water here is recycled and then there is only electricity from 7 p.m. at night. So throughout the day there is only solar power and we have to be very conservative with water as well. If we leave a tap on or something then we'll run out of water. Other than that this place is super calm. So right now we are going for lunch. So lunch will be served here. So 
that's the name of the hotel. Noches de Saturno. And they're selling here sweets from goat. Probably gonna try. So the observatory, you can see the Milky Way. Hopefully we can get some pictures if the, the weather is better. So we had lunch and then after that there was a bit of shower so we got a bit delayed but it's about 2.40 p.m. now and we came to a place called Sendero de los Hoyos which is a part of the desert which is grey. So we're gonna go walk all the way through there. Sendero de los Hoyos, or the Trail of Holes, is a 25 kilometer long circular route in the grey desert area. However, we only hiked a few kilometers of this long route to do some sightseeing. And tomorrow we are going to go to the red part of the desert. I know, I, I felt it. came down from there so we are in kind of the valleys of the the slopes on either side picture the cake Take. there are people up there There are a variety of cactuses here. The formations here are amazing. The lady speaking here was our guide and she was expressing how it takes nature thousands and thousands of years to make this amazing but fragile landscape formations which we can destroy or damage in a matter of seconds by stepping on them if you are not careful this place is so quiet and these formations are because of water flowing through these canyons and there is a eerie feeling in this area Paula is there waiting for me so we're gonna head uh, towards deeper into the canyons and meet up with the rest of the group. This place, in one word, if I had to explain, it's magical. You can still see that the water still flows here. That's why it's eroded here and the water is super fast. Millions of years ago, 
Tatakoa Desert was a tropical rainforest until the eastern branch of the Colombian Andes Mountains rose and changed the course of the water, generating the current eroded landscape. It's a romantic chobi. My dad is asking us to take romantic pictures. This part of the canyon is called Valle de los Fantasmas or the Valley of the Ghosts due to these eerie formations all around. There are signs warning people not to climb these structures to prevent damage. Why aren't you guys here? Buenas! Hola! This group decided to take a horse through the canyons. So we were on the other side of this part of the canyon, so we crossed over. There's still a bit of water flowing because there was rain here. And everything looks here like it's going to just fall anytime. So the one right there looks like it's going to fall. It's the part that's holding it up is almost broken. And this here as well, it's all cracked up, this part, all of this. And this lady is like 60 years old, 65, still climbing everywhere. The floor is a bit slippery because water was flowing there in the morning. So all these are thorn bushes, so many thorns. So me and Paula hadn't thought of coming to this desert or this dry tropical forest. But before my parents decided to come, Paula was like, let's take them somewhere they haven't been. So Paula booked this whole trip for them. So thanks to Paula. And we're going to go up there. We and the, the, the way back is a bit treacherous. As you can see, you have to cross over. We finished our hike all the way through the canyons. The swimming pool is down there. But this place is amazing. I've never seen a place like this. And our group is waiting down there. And there are horses you can hire. And mom and dad are waiting there. Mom was a bit tired because there were too many steps and the climb was a bit too steep. So we are headed back to the bus. It's about 4, 10 p.m. Uh, it's raining somewhere there. Hopefully the rain passes. And we have lunch, not lunch, dinner at 6.30 or 6. How was the trip? Ma, how was the trip? Very good. Paula, how was the trip? Amazing. So we went down through there and went around into the canyons and came up through the other side through there. So which was about a kilometer and a half, something like that. So that's our bus over there. And look at the clouds stuck on the mountains. And the rain is coming through from that side. So we made a quick stop <coughs> to take a picture here. Apparently this place has nice views. Yeah, I don't know these here, definitely. So today is Sunday, 16th of October. It's about 5.30 a.m. in the morning. I just woke up. Yesterday, everyone was extremely tired. We all went to sleep really early. Uh, we had dinner around 6.30. And after that, the weather turned really bad. It was raining. So all the plans for yesterday to go to the astronomy center was canceled. 
So today's plan is breakfast around 7.30 and then we go to one of the other deserts, the red one, and at night, if and only if the weather is better, then we are going to go to the astronomical center today and tomorrow we are heading back to Medellin. But anyways, I'll show you guys around. The sun is just about to come out. The colors are changing. So that as you see, the sun is going to come out from somewhere there. It's slowly turning red. So we couldn't see the sunset really well because um, too many clouds. So we're going to just try to move ahead somewhere. There is a small hill and try to take some, some shots from there. So let's go. It's like 6 a.m. in the morning and so many birds. The sky looks much, much clearer today. There is a bit of cloud on that side, but other than that, and now my goal is to Go right over there on this mound. So the gray desert was on that side through there. <laughs> yeah, but the sunrise though, in the clouds, we couldn't see. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, vamos. Cholona. But we are going to go there today. So there are people climbing on this, this cliff, right there. And the cactuses are as big as the people. No, that one is too far. So there are two different kinds of cactuses here, cacti. I keep on saying cactuses, it's cacti. This is the one that looks like in India it's called Phoni Monosha. And then there's this other one. Right now we are in the process of trying to find a way to the top of that small hill. But the floor is so soft because it rained yesterday. And it's difficult to get your footing. Oh, you, you. Look at my shoes. God dang it. It's full of mud. Nah, no, my is not coming. So all the rain flowed down through this way yesterday night. And oh, you, you, I got, this is very dangerous. So these are trees, very common here, like a umbrella that people and animals use for shade. So we're almost halfway there. We came down from there and mom is waiting somewhere down there. So finally at the top, after a bunch of getting stuck with a bunch of thorn bushes. We're finally at the top. So mom is standing right there. Mama! That mountain range is so beautiful. Look at the sun falling on the mountain range. So today we are planning on going into these these canyons, red canyons. red canyons. So before I head off, one last look around, because I can't get enough of this view. And I just want to capture it so I can see it later. So the mountain range kind of starts over there. And there are so many mountain ranges, you can't really see all of them, but the color fades away and gets more bluer the further away the mountain range is. So that's east. The sun is came out from that side. There are small farms all over this area. And then our hotel is right that way. And the planetary observatory area is over there. We're planning on going there today. And then the whole desert area starts from this side. The, the variance of color is amazing. I've traveled many places, but there is something very, very unique about this, this area. I've never seen landscape like this 
this abrupt change in the landscape. So this area is very high in minerals in the in the soil. So the water here as well needs to be treated a lot. So they recommend us to buy a bottled water just so in just in case you don't get sick or you don't get diarrhea from the influx of minerals in your system. So I'm trying to get make my way down. I'm almost there. Ever. Look at this cactus, it's dying and the roots are so thick. Yeah, new cactuses are thriving from the dead cactus. What an ecosystem. Back at the hotel. So we had breakfast and we're just waiting here. Uh, at 8.30, we're going to leave for uh, the, the red part of the Tatakura Desert. And finally, Paula is up. She's having a bit of coffee, so am I. And in the meantime, this spot here is for people to charge their phones. There's like 20 array of charges, so everyone huddles here to charge their phone. So it's 8.42 a.m. And we are on time today. And now we are on our way to the desert finally. It's supposed to be like 15, 20 minutes walk. And in the desert, we're gonna walk around an hour, two hours. I'm not late today. <laughs> I'm on time. Yeah, how you feel today? Good. And the best thing is Paula and Ma are feeling much better today. They slept really well. So they're feeling energized and then hopefully they can enjoy themselves. Because yesterday after the walk, both of them were tired. Paula had headache and the food here is is really good but then mom doesn't like too much rich food so it has been a bit difficult it was oily. yeah and it has been oily for mom so we're gonna head that way through this hotel area it's a hostel where people usually camp and that's the map of this place two and a half kilometers 2.14 kilometers. The cactuses are huge. Look at the size of these cactuses. This area reminds me of, I don't know if you if you guys remember, Paul, do you remember? There was this cartoon called uh, the Roadrunner. Roadrunner show where the, this, this coyote will be chasing this ostrich. And yeah, it, the, the landscape is like that. It's like I'm reliving my childhood. <laughs> Look at the size of this cactus. Oof. Oh, Winga. That one is tall. You always look for better things. That looks so nice with everyone on the edge. That's like a 20 meter fall. 
So people are camping here, right here. There's still erosions going on all the way through here and we're gonna try to make our way down there just follow that lady with the stick she's going that way no she's not gonna get lost if you see the dry tropical forest or the this part of the desert only stretches still there and that's it look at this gorge Incredible. So all of this is done by water and a bit of it, bit of it by wind. Sí, es es increíble. No no palabras pueden describir. No words can explain this. There, our group is there. So that is there. Can't you see that? So this is the way down. My parents are over there. So the steps are made of tires. Uh, so we were right over there finally we are down here the group is up in front so this looks like a completely like, like a riverbed look at these stones here they're completely like riverbeds We have been walking in this uh, area for about an hour, it's 9.45 a.m. and it's extremely hot. So people are talking about these stones here. So these stones, they're balanced on one on top of the other. We were up here. And we went all the way through there, and then walked down and went through here. Next, our tour guide, Don Carlos, guided us through a short meditation session and right next to us, this busy colony of ants went about their business in spite of the relentless heat. We were resting under this tree. It was so fresh. The outside is, is raging hot, but there it's crazy cool. So we meditated there a bit and now we are going to this tree, this tree here is called the tree of wishes. So you ask for things with this tree. And this is all the only tree here that doesn't have thorns. Oh, this is the tree of wishes. So the group that got lost, we finally found them there over there. Otra vez, otra vez. So we're doing a group photo here. This is our driver. It's the whole group. Everyone is in a good mood because the weather is a bit cooler now. And the whole group found each other. So finally we're headed back. They said that during the rest of the way, they're gonna do a peace walk. So around three, four minutes of silence the rest of the way. So I'll catch you guys up. restaurant that we're gonna have some drinks and the shop here is for souvenirs and mom and dad made friends so Paula bought us two drinks one is energy and one is a hand handmade beer 
that is made with cocaine, cocaine leaves. And this is and this original is, Indian this is sugar cane juice. So we came to buy some souvenirs. This is made of goat skin. So we came back from a little bit of shopping. It's extremely hot today. The outside is burning up. Even though this is not called the desert, I'm pretty sure the heat here can be comparable to the desert. And now we are going to a botanical garden. See the range better here, the mountain range. There are people camping over there, and it's raining over there, and also over here, and everywhere else is dry. There are a couple of goats there eating the shade. It's extremely sunny, so hot. I know I keep saying that, but like this is a different level of hot those are vultures circling around I don't know if something had died there so there is a park here it's called selfie park and the observatory is also somewhere that way here the botanical tour so there is a guy here who makes medicine and food and all kind of sustainable products with uh, herbs plants and cacti from around the area and he's the only one in Colombia that's doing it here so it was interesting Paula bought a couple of things and now so this is another souvenir shop this one is much bigger we'll have a look around So the shop is pretty big. The variety of things here that relates to the desert. Hey, Groot is here as well. So it's raining there and over there. So right now we are headed to that park there. So we are at the Tatakoa Selfies Park. So that's the entrance. So this is a lookout spot called Galactico. So the rainbow is up here. It's raining over there. It's about 4.35 p.m. And the sun is just about to hide behind the clouds right over there. Paula is gonna grab a drink. This looks amazing. Paula are just sitting here, found the spot, but the, the lookout here is, is incredible. This place has very little water, but at the same time there is so much greenery as well. And then there is a, like a cactus area there, and the clouds are pouring over there. We are not going to get into the park because it doesn't seem worth it to get in. I didn't expect to find this, but they have a peacock here in Colombia. No way. That's a live peacock. There is another one there. So 
So this girl is trying to train this horse. And with the sunset in the back, it looks so pretty. They have hung these fruits on this tree. It looks so beautiful. And the ground is cracked just like a desert. So we're almost back at the hotel. Paula almost got stuck in the feet with a big spine from a cactus. It went through her shoe, but nothing bad happened. And we are a bit late. It's 5.30 something. We were supposed to reach by 5.30, but we're gonna have dinner now and head to the, the planetary observatory. So final outing to see the stars. Cloud is still there. The clouds are still there. So I don't think we can see a lot of stars, but we are headed up now. We're probably gonna call it a night after the astronomy thing. Morning, morning. So day three here. It's 5.21 a.m. Uh, I just got up and me and dad are gonna go for a bike ride. We're gonna hire two bikes and travel a, a kilometer from here to see the sunset because there is a very beautiful spot up ahead. Uh, I don't wanna wait too long, so let's go. Dog came to say hi. Oh, is she? Oh, little one. She is in the bazaar. The sky looks so pretty. So, today probably everyone left because it was a long holiday and today is Monday. So, everyone has gone back and the place is completely deserted. The desert has been deserted. Uy, Baba, Kastaki Shundurgo. So we're almost here. up in the sky but because of the clouds you can't see it's 6 23 a.m and now we're gonna head back to the hotel because we have breakfast at 7. and as you can see this whole area yesterday was full of people but today end of a long weekend so everyone's left there are a couple of people here still camping but i'm gonna head back now So I'm back at the hotel, I'm waiting for my parents and Paula to get ready and then we're gonna go breakfast over there. I'm just soaking in the last bit of the desert uh, before we head off today in about an hour. So today is a bit more cloudy and there is a small donkey over there, it's just resting. We just finished breakfast, Paula is happy, it's around 
7.57 a.m. So we are heading towards the bus and time to leave and say goodbye to this place. So I really enjoyed this trip, a wholesome trip with Paula, Ma and Baba. So I'll just summarize everything up in this video. It was an amazing trip. The food was great. Paula really enjoyed it. So all in all, a really good trip and we'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao.